Here's an IBM T30 laptop I'm running with Puppy Linux on dial-up and I want to show you that the you can actually hit use two gigs of RAM. If I go up here and look at the summary here I've got a uh, 2 gigahertz pro 2.4 gigahertz processor and I'm using this has got two two gigs of RAM 2074 megabytes using 942 this is actually booting up into RAM, so I'm not even using the hard drive is the boot, so I'm booting off the CD. And this is running under uh, what they call Puppy Linux. Puppy Linux 0 0.52, I burned that disk uh, a year or two ago, I think. It runs actually fairly quick. You go over here and look actually on of uh, eBay and look at memory for this unit. An awful lot of vendors show that it uses uh, one gig total, but the IBM T30 will actually use two sticks of one gig, one gig at least mine will. If you go through and look at uh, different vendors over here that uh, sell memory, I'll block this guy's name out here, they say it holds one gig and standard memory is 256. And Mine actually will hold two gigs. I'm not sure up what's up with that story. Uh, I'm not sure if all of them will, but I've got two different 230s I've used with one, two gigs of RAM, and it seems to work well. This is running Puppy Linux. Um, you can go through here. Here's Facebook stock. I could go type another stock in here. KO for Coca-Cola. And takes a few seconds because it's on dial-up but actually since there's very little overhead it loads up pretty quick this dial-up here is fairly quick because it's on a uh, around 53k is the way it hooks up on there's coca-cola I could put mo hey, I don't know I just made up a sticker symbol there's no thinking no such symbol anyways this is showing a uh, IBM T30 uh, running on Minjapup beta and amount of RAM over here This has got a 2.4 gigahertz processor on it, and it's I'm using right now about 924 megs of RAM, Puppy Linux. Here it says the operating system, Linux 2.6332, Puppy Linux. So what this is doing is this is booted up on with the CD-RAM, CD-ROM, and that's what's running off of right now. So if you go over and look at the keyboard here there's the keyboard of the machine it's IBM T30 but what's weird is I don't have this thing installed but on this type of install it does it's actually using part of the a hard drive which means when I turn the thing off it's actually mounted the drive and it says I have one and a half gigs of personal storage space here down here gotta get a better tripod and you can actually store stuff on the hard drive turn it off it'll and it'll be back there again even though it's not permanently on the hard drive as far as I haven't loaded the operating system I've been using this since I had an XP system and it crashed but you can go through and look everything on it that's crashed so I've actually used that to boot up and get a lot of the things that were on the hard drive off by booting it up into Linux kinda interesting